science traditionally or research traditionally has been very discipline oriented. You know, I'm going to go into chemistry or I'm going to go into uh, biology or I'm going to go into something else. But astrobiology is I'm going to understand something that's in the natural world. You know, and it's not just astrobiology, it's biology or, or geology. But you're, you're problem oriented. You know, I, I really want to understand this. And I don't know yet what the tools are, but by golly, I'm going to go and get the tools to do that. And so if you can develop just a real fascination with some aspect of astrobiology or something about the natural world around you that, that really fascinates you, then that will drive you to getting the tools that you need and, and charting the kind of course. And of course, with the advice of, of mentors and teachers and so forth, they'll, they'll, they're more than happy to guide somebody who's very purposeful. I mean, nothing pleases a teacher more than to see a student come in and say, you yeah, know, I just really want to do this. I really want to accomplish this. Can you help me? Uh, let me know what tools I need to use. Um, again, there's that proactive aspect, and it's a problem-oriented focus, as opposed to, well, I need to learn chemistry now, because with chemistry, I'm going to go out and do great things. I think probably uh, a really great uh, approach is to, um, you know, is, is, is through reading and through, uh, you know, surfing the web for <laughs> astrobiology sites and uh, just getting um, a sense of what it's about with the information that's available to, I think, available to you, uh, you know, by the computer or, or whatever. Uh, I mean, as a student gets further along trying to get involved in people who are doing research or field work or whatever, uh, just being around people who are doing these kinds of investigations uh, is a very effective way. But I think even in your younger years, uh, when you have the ability to go out and look for information, just trying to, you know, look up astrobiology in the web and, and look at uh, what's out there and so forth and sort of just finding out what's cool about it. What's a little, get a little more detail into what it is about astrobiology that excites you uh, is the beginning of this process of what is it that you would really like to pursue for a while. So expose yourself to a lot of different things that are related to astrobiology and just see what seems cool, you know, what, what you'd like to do more of.